the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. How do we receive help from the Holy Spirit in difficult situations? And difficult situations may matter. And let me say something quickly here. I think it's very painful to look down on another person's difficulty because it's not a difficulty. And it's, it, it's what we do. So you look at someone that wants to have a child. I'm like, what's the big deal about not having children? You don't even know what it feels like. You look like someone that wants to get married. Maybe it's a lady or a guy. I'm like, ah, why are you, so, why are you carrying it? What must you marry? You don't even know what it feels like. Maybe someone is trying to change a job or migrate or get a visa. And you say, visa, what is visa? You, know, you don't even know what it looks like because everybody knows where it pains them. Everybody knows where it hurts them. Everybody knows where they have the issues. And one of the things we have to learn as Christians is sensitivity. We need to be sensitive. You know, let me make you a confession. When I was a younger Christian, when people had divorce, I used to be like, oh my God, how can you divorce? You're so careless, you're so unspiritual. I've grown right now. I'm like, I don't know why you have divorce, but I respect you. And I'm not going to look down on you because you had a divorce. Because there's that thing that makes us so pseudo-spiritual, like we're so hyper-spiritual to people. So when we talk about tough season, seasons that are tough, it may not be tough to you, but it's tough to me. Some people have COVID and don't show symptoms. Some people have COVID and almost die. And some literally die from COVID. Because the impact is just different on different persons. So the question today is that no matter what the challenge is, how does the Spirit bring about help when I have challenges? It may be as big as I need $3 million to scale a business. I was talking to one of the people in NLP and he was telling me about this current need. This current need is the fact that they need $2 billion. I'm like, wow, not $2 billion naira, $2 billion. And the reason I was telling me was because right now they've gotten $1 billion. So it was a testimony. He said, I went to talk to someone and the guy said, I can partner with you. He said, how much do you want? He took a paper. He said, write how much you want me to give you. Because the guy was so shy. He couldn't believe he could ask someone for that. And he wrote 250 million. And the guy said, okay, I'll give you that. And he, as he was going, he said, but I know this will, not, this will not be all you need because it's a big project. This is an oil and gas project. He said, yes, actually, I need some more. He said, let me call a friend of mine. How much do you want to give you? I called the friend. The guy said, I'll give another $500 million. And by the time he was talking to me, he said, Pastor B, it's not I will give. They transfer the money. So, when you hear that kind of testimony and all you're believing God for is 500k, then you wonder like, God, will you help me not to disturb me so I can pay more attention to other people that have big problems? Because you're just wondering that. <laughs> I don't even need millions of dollars. Just one, one, one K dollars. That's all I need. And when you think that, that that's tough, you know, some people, some people are, some people, some lady says, I don't want anything, I just want good health. Some guy says, I just want good health for myself, for my parents, for my children, and for my spouse. That's all I need. I mean, what is good health? And some of the people say, it's more than good health I want. I, I just want someone to spend my life with. Everybody wakes up and have this little cuddle all over. And would, mm -hmm. he said, when I wake up, all I get to cuddle is a pillow. I want a human being that has blood in his veins to be able to cuddle me and say how are you this morning and someone says what is that <laughs> because for somebody else i want a job that pays me more someone says when i have a job that pays me more i'll feel cuddled i'm only saying that the problems will always be different but it doesn't reduce the intensity of the problem
dearly beloved. I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Katabranda Katekatos. Katebranda Katapakotosko to break a take and the The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.